I'm Simon Sherborne from Avid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to start creating a track in Pro Tools Intro using loops and virtual instruments. I'm just using my laptop and some headphones, and I have a fresh install of Pro Tools Intro on here. I'm just going to use the built in plugins, but you can use any AAX plugins. Um, I also have a USB MIDI keyboard connected. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is a new empty session in Pro Tools Intro. And before we get started, I'm just going to show you a few settings that I've enabled for working with music. The first is dynamic transport. This lets me set an independent playback range and position that doesn't affect my edit selection. I also have MIDI merge enabled here, which will let me overdub record drums and loops. And I have edit command focus enabled here, which lets me use single key shortcuts, such as zooming with the R and T keys. Okay, I want to start this track with a couple of samples. Now, Pro Tools actually comes with a two gigabyte library of loops from Loop Masters, which you can search and audition in the workspace and bring into the timeline. Now for this song, I actually downloaded a couple of samples I want to use from the Lander online sample service. So as you can see, they are tagged as 140 beats per minute. And for this project, I'm just simply going to set the tempo up front as 140 beats per minute. The quickest way for me to bring these in is to just drag them in. So I'm going to drag this one in to some empty space in my timeline and it will create a new stereo track. So to play this, I could just pick up my play range and move it over here. Another shortcut in Pro Tools that's useful is if you select something in the edit section and press the O key, it will set the play range to whatever's currently selected for editing. Okay, that's a little bit loud, so I'm actually just going to bring that down using the clip gain button. And let's bring in our other loop. Same method. Okay, so you can see that this one is half as long. So I'm going to just select it and use Command D to duplicate or Control D on Windows. Let's have a listen. Okay, so I think what I want to do for this project is I want to start with that second loop and then introduce this one after four bars. So I'll move that over. I'm going to select these and then use the Option key or Alt key on Windows to drag copy like that. So we start with little build. This transition here, I have an idea to make it more interesting by using a tape stop effect just to grab right at the beginning of the track. So what I'm going to do is just select this last beat and go to my audio suite menu, which are my clip based effects. Let's go to pitch shift, verify. And the default setting in here is to slow down to stop fitting the selection. So if I just click render, we should get the tape stop effect. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, if I want to make a copy of all this, I can drag through this lane here. It'll select everything. So we'll use duplicate again. And I want to start introducing a kind of a beat at this point. And now for the drums, I'm going to use the expand virtual instrument. So I'm going to need a track for that. So one way to do that is to go to the track menu and create a new instrument track and we'll call it drums. So I need to add the expand instrument here as a plugin and my inserts I've got viewing in this window that saves me from switching to the mix window every time I want to access my plugins. So if I select the first slot and come into my plugins, we'll go to instruments and expand to. Now expand to is a multi-purpose sound module. It's got hundreds of presets, synths and acoustic instruments and drum kits. For this track, I'm going to use a drum kit called gated hip hop. So you see all these layers have now been filled in. If I record on this track, I should now be able to start playing it on my keyboard. If I didn't have a MIDI keyboard attached, I could open the MIDI keyboard window and play using the keyboards on my laptop. Okay, so the sounds I want to use are this kick, clap and hats, but I want to edit them a little bit. So if I, I can see the kick is on this channel. So if I select that, 
I'm going to come in, I'm going to just remove the reverb and let's tune it right down. Get really subby. For the clap, the same, I'm just going to remove the reverb, which will make it a lot snappier and we'll tune it up. Okay, for the hats, again, remove the reverb. But for the hats though, to make them more interesting, I'm going to use the other effect in this kit, which is the chorus. Which will give our hats some kind of interesting movement and swirl. Okay, so now I am ready to record something. My track is already armed. I can actually just hit play and try out some ideas. When I'm ready, I can just hit F12 on the keyboard and Pro Tools will start recording. Now, if I don't like what I did, I can just hit the Z key and undo and try again. Okay, there's something to start with then. Just to tidy things up, I'm going to select the clip and press the Q button here, which will quantize to the nearest 16th. And if I need to make further adjustments like that snare is off, I can double click this clip and open the MIDI editor. So this snare is actually late. I'm gonna bring that forward. And I actually want to bring this kick here. So I could start drawing some more hits in here. So I could add my hats with the pencil tool. I can delete with optional alt as well. But I'm going to record these in live, the same as the other ones. So let's start again. In fact, let's make a new copy of all of this and add the hats to a new version. Let's move my play range across. Okay, sounds good. I will quantize this again. Okay, so I'm gonna add some bass as well, but before we do that, let's see if we can just add a bit of impact to these drums. So I'm gonna come over to my inserts again and head for the harmonic plugins, which will add some character. Let's go with lo-fi. So lo-fi, I should just be able to add some distortion here. Instantly thicken up those drums. I'm also going to add a little bit of EQ just to filter this off. Okay. So now we want another instrument track. The quickest way for me to do that would be to double click here to create another instrument track. And we're going to go again to expand. Now this time we want a nice sub bass sound. Let's just arm this track. So I'm going to head for the synth bases and for a patch called Dynamics. It's a really good place to start. With a bit of tweaking, I can give it some attack. There we go. And let's record something in. OK, 
Okay, it sounds pretty close, but let's quantize it to be sure. Some little level adjustments in the mixer. All right, no, so we have a few elements now to start building something that we could share with a vocalist. So I'm pretty happy with how this starts. This first section, I'm thinking that we just want the kick here and then maybe these last few snares as a fill. So then everything comes in here. Now let's drop it down for a section here where we can imagine that a vocalist is gonna come in. And I think we'll just remove this clip here. And let's take the hats out for the first four bars. And we'll go again, but this time actually I wanna bring the hats back in here. So I will option drag the full beat version there. And then we'll come back in with the whole beat here. And let's do the same for another verse. Let's see what that sounds like. So there you go, in just over 10 minutes, we've created a new track in Pro Tools intro. For more tutorials, head over to the Pro Tools Getting Started pages at avid.com. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.